we've had to borrow money uh, to make ends meet. The state uh, is approximately on some programs six months behind. On elder abuse, they're six months behind. On the community care program, they're three or four months behind, which is a huge part of our budget. Brenda Fleming with the West Central Illinois Case Coordination Unit says her office cares for 639 clients over the age of 60. Unfortunately, over the years, you know, more families are moving away from Quincy, so the services for seniors are really needed more today than they were 30 years ago. Services include in-home care as well as an adult daycare inside the Quincy Senior and Family Resource Center. With me to come down here, uh, I love the fellowship. I'm a people person. Maxine Schaefer and her husband always appreciated the help they received through both services. Even after his passing last year, Maxine continues to come to the center. It helps me out an awful lot. You know, it takes that part of that emptiness. I still miss him, but it helps a lot. The cost to keep someone in their home is roughly $900 a month. The cost of a nursing home averages around $3,200. It's services like these that continually face budget cuts from the state. Illinois Comptroller Judy Bartopinka says the Department of Aging funding is underappropriated by an estimated $200 million. There probably will be cuts to the program no matter what happens. Brooke Hash, KHQA News, Quincy.